Good day, lords and ladies, and welcome back to the Dark Side Detective. We're on to our fifth case, so let's dive right in. Lock mess. And then we've only got one other case, official case left, and then we've got some bonus missions. Um, which we can look into. Right, case summary. Dooley and his Blood Wolves, which are his uh, scouting troop, are attending a jamboree, but the kids rang me in a panic saying something fishy is going on. Campsite. Queen, well, here I am. Camp. What am I doing here? Whatever these kids were calling about, I don't see why Dooley couldn't take care of it. Jamboree sign. A poorly painted sign says Jamboree inside. First here, that's odd. But I'm sure the rest will be along soon. Just settle in and don't think about it ever again. That's actually exactly the kind of sign I'd expect here. Main site. Campsite, which is what happens when you let people vote on a name. The other choices were cabin in, in sorry, cabin in the world not, would not, in the would not, tent pegging, and the place where you'll die, so not hard to see how it won out. Okay, let's go in. It's been years since I came here. Memories, huh? Yes, that's the closest thing there is to a nightclub for flies. That's my queen. Too quiet when driving by myself. I need to get the radio fixed for when Dooley's not with me. Wooden sign. The scroll reads, Park, your automobile's here, then throw the keys away. You won't need them with the fun we'll be having at the Jamboree. No other motives, honest. Oh, the rope snapped. I guess I have a sign now. See, it wouldn't plank. Info booth. An information booth. Actually, the I is for interloper, says Jamie. I often ask myself, Jamie, do you think people will see this I and understand that you offer reasons why they are unwelcomed in this terrible place? I think it's pretty clear. Flyers. This one says, talk to a Twin Lake native. Jamie, they said, nobody's going to come all the way to talk to you, but here they are. Yeah, I'm here for other reasons. Oh, there's Jamie. Hi there. Welcome to Lake to Lake Monster. Get out while you can, shouts, shouts Jamie. What? Why? Why? Because the lake of the Lake Monster, of course. It's our number one attraction. Avoid it at all costs. What are you doing here? Every day I ask myself that what self same question. Jamie, you could have followed your dreams, I say. You could have be a chef. But then I remind myself that I cannot taste flavours, and I think I made the right choice. I, um, what are you doing here? Oh, yes, yes. Me and my flights are fancy. I work at the tourism board, and this is a tourism board. And this is the tourism board. We, it and I, tell people what wonderful things to see and do in Twin Lakes. And what to avoid, like this lake, and the rest of the city. Tell me about the camp. The campsite got its name as it was the site of a terrible massacre. It's also the site where those angry, angry spirits were laid to rest. Unconnected, it's also the site where terrible tragedies happened happen each year. And it's where kids go on vacation and do fun blood wolf activities. It fills my heart with joy to see them play. And with fear, because everything here is so awful. Tell me about the monster. Oh, a huge big fangs it has, or tendrils. Maybe even a big a big sucker thing. And the wings, oh, if you saw them, they'd probably be wings, but they may be fins, though. Hard to tell at this distance. It stands well over a certain height, tall, and weighs an amount. You can be sure of that. Have you even seen it, says McQueen? With my own eyes. Sorry, that was meant to be a question. With my own eyes? No, not at all. Has anyone ever se ever seen it? Asked the detective, and lived to tell it. To tell of it? No. How many people is it rumored to have taken? Rumored? Many. Proven? None. Says Jamie. Right. Sighs McQueen. A friend it is, but a wondrous attraction for the region. 
Each day I'm torn between Jamie, people need the beast, it brings much business, and Jamie the monster, it kills, probably. Goodbye, run and don't look back. Seriously, how did you get this job? I married into a powerful tourism family. Okay. Bloodwolf Devon, you're here. Devon, you rang, says the detective. Blood Alphaduli has gone missing. Wah, so, cries Devon. Sob, says Emily. Missing? Tell me what happened. Much crying. Questionable, authentic whales. <laughs> we don't know. He was here last night, then this morning gone, and his bunk wasn't even slept in. Aliens must have taken him, says, De says Devon. Mauled by a bear, I bet, says Emily. Let's not leap to conclusions. When was the last time you saw him? We had nighttime hot chocolate, then he went to his office to, I don't know, do officey things. I guess we'll start there then. We? I don't do entire cases solo. There's conven just convenient sections. Come on, we've got us a dually to find. Balloons. I'm not a balloonologist, but I'm pretty sure those shouldn't be slimy. Okay. Tent. We need to find Dooley. This place is too tense without him. This this place is too tent tense without him to lighten the mood. Terrible joke. Get it? Too tense? Too tense? Yeah. We know what imp you know what improves the joke. Explaining it, says Emily. McQueen to size. Oh, yeah. Nice campfire. Did you guys build it yourselves? Emily built it all by herself. I didn't build it, says Emily. I just freed the flame. It's how I got my fire whisperer badge. Fire Whisperer Badge, says the McQueen. Blood Wolves have a lot of very much very much not scout badges. Best not to ask. Basically for copyright reasons, probably. Emily. Get any got any marshmallows on you, mister? No, but though but aren't you meant to be always be prepared? That's scout. We're taught to never pair. Means we're never ready for anything, but it does wonders for the budget. Thanks for coming out. These two are on the verge of a meltdown looking for him, so to calm them. No problem, says McQueen. Sometimes I think the fire is whispering at me to burn things. But then I realise it's just Emily. Snitch. Uh, let's go inside. So, more bugs. Flies really need a better hobby. Sometimes I run around and around and around the building and I, got so f I go so fast that I move everything into the future. How far into the future? Sometimes five whole minutes, says Devon. And how long does it take you to build up the speed to do that? About five minutes. That's pretty impressive, kiddo. Good work. This place is empty. Where is everyone? Uh, at home, with their families, says Emily. But isn't this meant to be a jam jamboree? Oh, all that stuff is fake. It's obvious, isn't it? I guess it is, but then why are you guys here? Us, we like hanging out with Dooley. I hope we find him soon. We will. I'm glad there's nobody else around this weekend. All those other kids irritate me with their questions. What's your name? Where are you from? Wait a second, is that my bag? Left window. There's nothing in here. The window covers the wall. They forget to build the room, but already had the window ordered, so... Right window. The dorm room reminds me of summer camp out here as a kid. Let's head inside. Hello? Jack Turner. Hello, hello. This is Jack Turner, Devon's father. Just wondering to check. Just went want to check in on in that the boys are doing okay. Not struck too wide-eyed by all that Nate, I hope. He's a uh, fine, says McQueen. Sorry for calling that up for calling up. Jack is a worrier. Are you on the other line? Are you on the other line, Barbara? I'm just making a little call, Barbara. Just checking in on the on the lad, uh, Barbara. You'll be fine, Jack. There's no need to keep calling. Just leave him to have a good time. Yes, well, no such things as an overprotected parrot now is there. Paper can be damp because of leaks, extreme humidity, being in a jungle, or getting scared and wetting itself. Stop trying to burn f burn that flyer, Emily. Stupid damp paper. Okay, 
so let's have a look around. Flyers. One of these is wet and reads very real jamboree on this weekend. Dooley pack. Dooley's pack should come. We are the best pack and we'll all win the jamboree, which is real. Something smells fishy. It's the flyer. It stinks of fish. Right, so we've got dorms outside office. Let's go with the dorms. Pillow. There's a pack of marshmallows called Uncle's Gloopies. Squidgy delights here. Charming. Hey, my secret stash. Give me, give me, give me. We see the item marshmallows. Bunks. Top one was mine. Dooley was below me. Yes, I have Dooley's old bunk. Poster. Blood walls of America don't exist. Don't ask questions. Go on about your lives. Not the most welcoming poster. You've got to want. You got to want for wolf. We don't have time for blowins. Says Emily. Props. A box of dress-up props. Let's dig out some bits and bobs. See some props. Bundle of various costume parts in the kids' size. Okay. One of those bunks is full of money. Hmm? I hid my Monopoly earnings in it, says Devon. Is this the boy or the girl's dorm? There are no genders in the Blood Wolves. It started at a cost-cutting scheme, but ended up being strangely progressive. These bunks are all mine, says Emily, but I let my pack sleep in them. A lone wolf is a weak wolf. Right here. Back out into the hallway. Let's try the office. How many blood wolves are in the Twin Lakes anyway? Well, at us for our pack of free, our pack for 347. But the numbering starts at 210 and skips every 11 pack, so it's hard to say. When Blood Alpha Dooley is back, I'm going to convince him to turn BT into Robot Wars, into a Robot Wars contender. BT, all opposition will be destroyed. Resistance is futile. That's my girl, says Emily. Devon, sometimes Blood Alpha Dooley lets us play games with him on the computer. Fill in police report is one we play the most. We got Dooley that as a gift. After Emily smashed the room's light, says Amari uh, Emily. No. Amala. Amala. It had it coming, snapped Emily. It's on and Dooley's logged in. Not I'm not proud of this, but I can find some clues. Those were good times, don't worry, buddy. I'll find you. Let's try the recycle bin. There's a file in here called password. Let's see. Dooley's password is password. That's as secure as, secure as, as it is surprising. My computer, the machine is pretty much empty. Emails. It looks interesting. Greetings, fellow Blood Wolf. You and your pack, I guess, are invited to a 100% legitimate jamboree at campsite this weekend. You have to come. You must. Nigel, fellow Blood Wolf. No need to look it up. Suspicious. Internet. Seems he was hanging out of, on his Duluminati.com forum. There's an open thread. Dear Duluminati, the government are trying to use my brainwaves to hunt me down so they can, be, can pester me into, filming work, into film work. How can I protect myself? There's this guy who keeps bumping, bumping his posts and pinging Dooley. All of his posts signed, Nigel, fellow human, for reals. I'm starting to see a pattern here, but who is this Nigel? An empty folder. Okay. Osculoscope. This this odd thing, that is an odd thing for a camp to have. This is BT. BT. It's like CT, but better. Hello, um, uh, Armelia, Devon and Emily, detective. Why is it talking? How does it know my name? We did say it was better than SETI. How can I help you today? Who you tell me about Dooley's, where Dooley went? Nothing. If Master Dooley wanted you to know his secrets, he'd have given you the password. Input password. Uh, fine. What was the signal Dooley found? A 2.4 two gigahertz ultra high frequency radio signal. Essentially the internet, but wire. Stop trying to cyber patronize. Patronize me machine, all you need to say it was fancy internet. 
Where did it lead him? Across the lake to the signal source, which was... I'm afraid I don't know. I didn't go. I have no legs. What are you? How are you talking? I am BT. I monitor, gather and collect signals in the search for extraterrestrial life. Yeah, like city. I get it. Uh, city is a moron. I speak 13 languages. I'm a chess master and figured out the meaning of life. The meaning of life? Yes, but duly deleted that to make more room for his TV shows. I need that info. If you don't tell me, I have to command commandeer it. I'm afraid I can't let you do that, Dave. <clears throat> Detective. That's a reference if I've ever heard one. Devon. Step aside, mister. Time to put my uppity AI badge to use. What? Wait. Why do you have a badge like that? Blood Wolf secret, sorry. And you don't have a need to know in case of need to know badge. Just do whatever you're going to do. Okay. You search the map for places the signal bounced through. I'll look them, lock them in. And once we find enough of them, we should have the root blood Alpha Duty took. Okay. Let's try going down here. Let's go up. Right here. Keeping the signal anywhere. Yeah, because that's a normal way for you to go. My money is going to be on this island somewhere. There we go. Uh, looks like a map of the lake. To what? To where, says Devon? To Dooley, says Amelia. Uh, Amelia. Not so, but let's print it out and see where it leads us. Okay. So we got a map poster. I want to I want to believe you're telling Dooley to stop buying knockoff posters. It has a sticker saying the truth is around here somewhere. I'm guessing this belongs to Dooley. Cafeteria. Right. Hello. Hello again. Just wanted to make sure you were aware that Devon is, allerg is allergic to technology. Bitten by a toaster once. He has, he has left his EMP device at home. I wouldn't sleep a wink thinking of him without it out there in a tech-filled wilderness without knowing that your EMP is up and running. In fact, maybe you'll send me the, the make and model number. Hello? Hello, Barbara? I think the line has gone dead. Okay, cafeteria. Menu. Stew. Don't ask for specifics. What's the food like here? Am Amelia. Surprisingly good. Agnes may be a grump, but she knows how to microwave everything to perfection. Chef Agnes. What? Have you seen Dooley around? I saw him yesterday. Chased him away from my stew. Would have ruined it. He was adding flavours. Not many people here, and... What am I? People police. Sometimes they're here, sometimes they ain't. 
but you're here, says McQueen. Oh, sorry, I didn't know yours was the people police. McQueen goes quiet. I thought it's not. What do you work out here? White Lesson, what do you work out here? Working with kids suits my sunny disposition. McQueen goes silent. Whatever. Pots. Pots. They look brand new. Don't need new no pots to microwave a meal. Can I take one then? Whatever, I don't need them. Receive the pot. Cans. A can of dehydrated eggs. What? You expect me to find a chicken every time I need to make an omelette? Bowls. I use those to cut Devon's hair, says Emily. It's why I wear this cap. Selves. Middle cups. A can of Colonel Mustard's poisoned custard. And a box of Radaway radiation removal powder. This place has it all. When I was last here, it was full of plastic fists. The prog that's progress for you. Tubing. Some tubing for cleaning out the tank. I think I could get away with taking a small length. Okay. Talk to Devon. I can recite pi to the 34, to 34 ingredients. The canteen is the best place to come for knives. Why do you need knives? I was trying to suggest that at your age you didn't know why knives are useful, says Emily. Wait. What age do you think I am, says McQueen? A hundred? Rather rude. Okay, so. To the lake. Gas can. An old gas can. It's empty because I emptied it. Let me guess. To start a fire? No. I poured it on Devon's bed so everyone would think he peed himself. What? I'm going to make sure the other packs don't want to poach him from us. Okay. Cooler. We have enough food to wait this beast out for days. All kept nice and fresh in tin foil. Barry. Are you here to see too? To see what too? We've been waiting ages and ages for it, so... We're starting to get bored of waiting. We're not going home without seeing a monster. Well, good luck with that. Why are you so eager to see a monster? We're 100% 100 of Twin Lakes Cryptozoology Club. We're always on the hunt for lake monsters, sewer gators, krakens, and around winter yetis. People don't know this, but there's a lot of strange things happening in Twin Lakes. Believe me, I know. Ah, sorry, guy, but the cops don't know anything about what's really going on. Yeah, go back to getting kittens out of trees and leaving the real detecting, detect detective thing to us. Ugh. Do you have something better to do? Nope. Not a thing. See you soon, unless the monster gets you. An old boat with no gas and hole in it. I need to fix it this if I, if I want to use it to follow this map across the lake. So it's got a hole. Let's try and put marshmallows in the hole. This won't do. It won't stay placed. I need something to stick it to. Okay, let's try and combine the marshmallows with the plank of wood. Marshmallows are sticky, but they need to be in the into it, be in a paste. Okay, I know what they do. I got an idea. Let's go back to the campfire. Let's put put the marshmallows in a pot. Hold it over the fire. Let's melt these marshmallows down. Melt them to the ground. Marshmallow goop. Then let's apply it to the wooden plank. Well, the plank is sticky now. Go team. Okay. So. Let's. So that's fixed the hole. Now let's find some gas. Well, we can take it out of our car, I suppose. Let's try and combine these two. Siphoning kit. Stand back, it's time for me to sum up some fire juice. Slurp, slurp. Good work, I guess. That Hand it over now. What? Give me the gas can. Green goes quiet. I should have known you were on their side, says Emily. Tank full of gas. Gas goes in the boat. That's it filled up. I guess now about the work it, that it's working, I best head out to check the lake. We best head out, mister. Two dangerous kids, tell you what. You keep an eye out here in case Dooley comes back and I miss him. 
but danger is my middle name. No, it's not. They just wrote danger on all your paperwork. Oh, says Emily. We have to go, mister. We have to, says Devon. It's against my better judgment, but then most things I do are. In you go. Across the lake, the boat goes. Reporter. Camera. Hands of the camera were rolling. It's a Polaroid camera. An unmanned Polaroid camera. Doesn't matter. Dick Brickman will get his van or monster on tape. And you can rest assured that I'm not going anywhere until I do, unless I had I had reason to believe the monster was hiding somewhere else. Hey, I recognise you. Dick Brickman here. Reporter from here, the place I am to you wherever you are. For the Twin Lake News with me, Dick Brickman. What are you doing here? I, Dick Brickman, am here to report the news, and the news of the day is that there is a monster living in this lake. That's not really breaking news, is it? People have been talking about the supposed monster for ages. Breaking news, police admit to knowing about the monster for, and I quote, an age. How did you get here? I don't see a boat. Can't keep the press out, and I, Dick Brickman, am the press. So what's the scoop on the monster? We're here live at the scene where the investigation has, has taken us thus far. What will we see? Is this where the monster lives? Will we finally get assigned photo signed photos of the creature? Tune in as soon as I, Dick Brickman, of Twin Lakes News, have absolutely anything to say. You know, there's no ordinance here, audience here, right? We no need to talk like you're mid-broadcast. Breaking news, detectives. Breaking news, detective. You're here. An audience of four. An audience of audience of an audience of four, an, or an audience of four million. The news has to be heard. Don't forget to tune in Twin Lakes News with me, Dick Brickman, for thrilling conclusions to this week's Dick Brickman's investigations, featuring me, Dick Brickman. Where I, Dick Brickman, will follow any lead on the creature, any lead at all. I think we're lost. Pretty creepy place. I bet there are monsters in that in that forest. Let's in the hope not. Dark forest. I wonder what secrets this forest hides. Not that I'm, not that I'm any real earth to find out. I've buried many unwanted gifts in these woods, says Emily. Can't you orienteer us through this wood? That's a scout thing. Instead, we learn how to block ourselves from all the seeing eyes of GPS satellites. Says Amelia. The green just goes silent. I don't like dark things, like the dark and night, Tim. You mean night time? Don't like night time, but only because that's when night, Tim, comes to whisper in my ear about the crushing realities of, of adulthood. The sign. Nothing in here, no siree. I guess we should keep looking then. You really are a duty student. I bet the cave has spiders in it, and bats, and bat spiders. I want a pet bat spider, says Emily. Hmm, I may need you to keep the other two occupied while I investigate that cave. Perfect. That should give me all the time I need. Time? For what? I nearly spent enough time waiting beside Cave Mouse to get my waiting around by a Cave Mouth badge. Why is that a thing? When will that come in useful? Well, we're waiting beside Cave Mouth right now, aren't we? See how good I am at it? That's because I've been working at, on getting the badge. Do Cave Mouths have cave teeth and cave tongues too? Okay, in we go. There seems to be a cave behind the obvious fake cover. Let's go. Uh, you guys, you guys should guard out, guard out here. Okay. I am going to mess up anyone who comes near. This is Nark still out. Is, is that Nark still out there? He's getting so close. I'll have a look. Oh, hey, detective, says Dooley. Dooley, says McQueen. What's going on here? Hmm? Oh, this is Nigel. Uh, hi. Is a fellow true fiend invited me here to help with a problem. Right. Are you done? Can we go? No, and um, no, says Knight to the monster. I need Dooley's help. But DooleyIlluminati.com, he um, are famous are famous in truth circles, you know. What's the problem? The government wants me because I'm a monster. A talking monster, frankly. I'm surprised you haven't noticed. 
the queen to stay silent. Anyway, I need protection. Like a gun? <laughs> Look at this guy. Let's solve everything by shooting it. I don't even own a gun, says McQueen. Stop talking about guns. I'm sensitive about my lack of fingers. We, we need to chase off that narc outside. They're closing in on Nigel and fast. Narc, you mean the reporter? Clearly a government spy. No. We get rid of him. And once he's gone, what you need, Nigel, is a mind hat. That will keep him off your trail. A mind hat? A protective layer of some kind of metal. Maybe aluminium. Do you mean a tin foil hat? That sounds perfect. But I'll stop him using your mind waves to locate you. Genius, I knew you'd be able to help. Are you okay, Dewey? Yep, quite nice here. But since I can't leave, maybe you could help protect Nigel from the narc. Just get rid of that guy outside and then get a mind hat to keep them from finding him again. Dooley, the guy outside is a journalist from TV. Perfect cover. Oh boy. Most government types are crafty. Best convince them that Nigel is hiding out somewhere else. Get them off his trail. It's full of fake jamboree flyers in various stages of readiness. He la his lack of hands explain the childlike nature of the posters. Nothing explains how he got a craft table and computer in here. Tape. Sticky tape. A staple in every adventurous kit. It's full of fake jumper. Okay. Trope. Do you like that? It's my human disguise. That's how I got into the camp and convinced Dooley into coming with me. I was certain he was another blood alpha. Very believable. Someday I hope to work in the film makeup department. I think I have a knack for it. Computer. It's open the same form as Dooley's machine was. And the keys are damp, very damp. Bin. It's full of seafood takeaway wrappers. Don't judge me, says Nigel. Nigel. Uh, hi. So, monster. A talking monster, but I don't like to talk about it. We're all God's creatures, I guess. Is that right? We don't have much religious stuff under the sea. I'm just re I just read the books I still still borrowed from the campsite. I'm not sore. What are you doing in Twin Lakes? It has a good dental plan, but you don't have teeth. But if I did, this would be the place to be. Kidnapping, huh? I think that's an unfair way to describe luring someone to a place under false pretenses. Trapping them in a cavernous lair and refusing to let them leave. McQueen just goes quiet. What do you think the government is after you? Hollywood. I'm cheaper than CGI, and monster movers are all the rage these days. But I'm not interested in the life of fame. I'd prefer to work in makeup and help the real stars sign. One second, folks. And we're back. Right here. Okay, okay, okay Kang. Good news is that Dooley is inside and safe. Bad news is that he can't come out yet. Why not? Uh, there's, um... It's a blood alpha test. It's for your don't ask questions about. Yes, I've been waiting for that one for ages. Let's do this. Sign. Okay. Let's try combining some of the costumes. Hmm, listen. Won't do. Let's see if we can get the guy to leave. Dooley's narc. Dick Brickman here, reporting from here, the place I am to you, wherever you are, for the Twin Lakes news for me, Dick Brickman. Okay. So we need to lure him somehow. I need tin foil. I think you guys would help out. Sure. Oh, great. No way, Barry. Aunt Tracy made those for us, and they get sat soggy if we give away our tinfoil. You're right, you're right. We might be waiting for a long time for the monster to show up. Until we see some proof there is a monster here, we're staying, which means the foil stays. Sword Detective. Sword Detective, right, okay. So. Hello? Me again, and it's just popping. Popped to my mind, but I don't know the mix of fibres in Devon's uniform and he may be near. 
though not near I hope fire while I can. Could you tell me it's competition? Um, and while you're at it, could you run me through your fire plan? Just the basics will do. Staff training, frequency of extinguisher tests, your list of emergency helicopter pilot numbers. Jack, who are you on the phone to? No one, darling. Okay. Let's try to apply the, the stuff to the kids. We could get these kids to dress up as monsters, but I need to find somewhere nobody will see. Otherwise, the skies will be spoiled. Okay. Dark forest. Dark forest it is. Let's see what kind of outfit I can make with this. Bigfoot. Utterly convincing. Can't walk in this. Can you? Can we take it off? I guess. Okay. Okay. So how are we going to do this? Okay, so how are we going to do this? Won't do. If I tied that, try that in the county to get me out. Okay. Uh, so we have the kids in the disguise. We need to get him, we need to get the... So this fully suited up. Okay. They won't give me any information. Right to right to right. Got my eye on you, Moon. But there's watching all night crime. Up there watching all night crimes, but saying nothing. Obstruction of justice. That's what it is. I know the Moon's not a person. Amelia just goes silent. I was only joking with it. Joking with the Moon? Yes. Okay. Let's go back to the late side. Let's talk to these guys. Okay, that won't work. Okay. Looking for a friend. Oh, I'm flattered, I thank you. I think you, you'll be a nice guy for my social calendar, it's full. I met a friend of mine who's gone missing. Oh, of course, so I know that. What do you, what do they look like? Uh, he's similar to me. But about 20% more pixels. Not, no, sorry. The monster probably got him. Run before he gets you too. They all laugh when I tell them. Oh, Jamie, they say. You and your monster. And then, bam, it takes one of them. Drags them off to the mountain. To its mountain or water tree. Or maybe even cavernous lair. Does this happen often? It might do. It's crafty. Covering up its tracks by not being seen or heard of. Or doing anything at all, really. Devious. Okay, so that's not going to work. Loons. Okay, so that's not working either. Okay, so we can put the disguise on. Uh, I don't know how we're supposed to do this. Hmm. 
questions. We obviously need to lure the detective over somewhere. Actually, let's do this. Let's try put the ink on the map. A few press swirls. There we go. Okay, so. Give the map to him. Goodness me, oh my, breaking news. The monster has been sighted elsewhere. This is me, Dick Brickman, signing off as I can si sign back on another day for another day from another bay. Alright, take the camera. He left his camera, I guess I should bring it back to Lost and Found. Okay. Put that on. Say whatever Bigfoot says when they have they have to take a picture. Wait, should that be Big Feet? Rather than Big Feet. Receive photo evidence. Okay. Jump in the boat. Cross the lake. We'll give the... Uh, we'll give that to the two. I found the photo you two may be interested in. Some proof. Finally. We knew he was real. Wait until we sew the gang. They seem to have left their cooler of food and tin foil. I have some of that. Let's put these two together. Yeah. Basic. Basic boat design. Let's do that. That. This definitely goes there. That goes up here. That goes there. Here we go. Bit of tape. That should do it. Now I just need to tape this here, fold that fur, and voila, a tinfoil hat. I better take this back to the cave and give it to Nigel. Is that not gone? Yep, he's gone. Okay, give him the hat. Here you go. It's a thing of beauty. Now what? With the Nark distracted and Nigel and traceable, it's time for him to find a new life, free from the watchful eye of the man. Can we stay in touch? Of course, just email me from hard to trace locations like phone booths, coffee shops, and the Mar Mariana Trench. Okay then, thanks again, Dooley. Detective goes quiet. Poor guy, I hope he shakes off those government narcs. Dooley, we are the government narcs, says McQueen. Speak for yourself. Don't tell me. Don't tell the man nothing. I didn't tell the man nothing. We can just go silent. It's good to have you back, Dooley. The calf stalls. The petrol. Looks like you're staying here with us. Smalls all around. Well, the bloodiest wolves around who keep their sniffers to the ground. We do. We do. Green goes quiet. And the case is closed, folks. And uh, that is it for this episode, folks. I shall see you next time when we take on Dawn of the Dawn of the Dead. I've been Cornish Knight. This has been Dark Side Detective, and I shall see you all again. Please like and subscribe. It helps me a lot. Goodbye. <laughs>